just going to show you how to do a double flare on some 3 16 inch brake line. This is copper nickel brake line, which I really love compared to the steel stuff because it's just a lot easier to work with. So here I've got one that I've already finished just so that you can see what, what it is that we are trying to accomplish. So here, let's see if I can get this turned so you can see the end of it. It's uh, basically two layers of this material that is folded over on top of itself. And then you are able to tighten this and the seal actually happens right between the very inside edge here. If I can see on the inside of this fitting here, there's a little uh, pointed taper type thing inside of there that lines up with this this here. And so once that's on there and you tighten this in, it should theoretically make a seal as long as you get that good and snug. So we're going to take our cutter and if you have a new blade in your cutter or if you have a new cutter it's going to be beneficial because it will uh, help it to make a cleaner cut and not push in quite so much. So just tighten this down here a little bit and then we rotate it around. And just don't tighten it a whole lot, just tighten it and then rotate it three or four times and then just quarter turn or so and then go at it again. Go. Now we've got it cut off. So there we go. Now right on the end of this pipe there's going to be a little bit of a burr inside and so we are going to go ahead and remove that and you can use a special deburring tool or you can just find something that is about the right size to fit into the end of this. And uh, this is the end of a file, actually. We're going to see if we can get this to go in and just clean that up for us a little bit. Go ahead and clean that burr off of the inside of there. Okay. It's looking a lot better there. You can see that the burr is pretty much gone. Uh, now, at this point of the game, you would slide your nut on. Now, we already had one over there, but in this case, you would slide it on just like this before you do your flare. So, we've got that slid on there. And now, we have to create a chamfer. And a chamfer is basically a little uh, edge of this that is just rounded over just a little tiny bit. And I'm just going to take my file and hold it in place as I go around the end here. And the end is looking really nice. As you can see, those there's a nice taper on there now. And so this is all prepped and ready for the flaring part. The 3 16th, which is the very smallest size this particular kit can handle. And here is the flaring deal. So with this particular kit, there should be instructions with that whichever kit you have. Um, you slide this in here and you make a space. You, you slide this 3 16 pipe until it gets to the same depth above the surface of the uh, flaring tool here that is equal to this the thickness of this first ledge on this little tool here so we get that to be right at that spot right there and then we hold it in place while we go ahead and clamp this on here now I'm going to loosen this side a little bit more because you want to tighten the side that is closest to the layer that you're doing first. Make sure that these edges here line up and they're flush right here. That feels nice and flush right there. I'm going to take our bar right here and snug that up a little more. And do the same thing here. Just go ahead and get that nice and tight. So we now take this piece and put the shaft into here like that. 
get this positioned over the top. There's a little dimple in the top of these tools. Okay. And we got that nice and snug. And see how you have it at an angle like that? That way you have it it latches on to the bottom really nicely that way. Let's just slide through here. And now we're gonna go ahead and just begin to tighten this down here. Do my best to keep this in focus. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and crush this down. And you go all the way until the black tool thingy, the little deal, is touching this bottom surface. So until it all the way crushes down here. A little more. Just get it nice and snug. And now we should have the first portion of the double flare completed. Get it loosened again here. Alright, so we pull this off for the moment. And then we should be able to pull this out. You can see that this is kind of bubbled out a little bit. See how it's kind of uh, pointed out there. So now the last step of the double flare is to push that, that point that is pushing out right now in so that it is coming out at a, I think it's like a 45 degree angle or so. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and tighten this down. Focus better here. My apologies for the focusing. And tighten that good. You don't want to go too crazy tightening it, but you need it to be pretty snug in order to have that the shape that you want. All right, so there we go. Loosen it up again, so you can see that it is now tapered inward instead of outward. And there you have it. You can see now. There's a few marks on the side of this from the grip of the flaring tool. But overall, I think this is going to be a successful flare. You would get these tightened up, and you'd be set to go. Now all you have to do is the flare on the vehicle side, which is most likely going to be a steel line. This is a copper nickel line that we used here, which uh, makes it a lot easier to work with. So um, the steel line might be a bit more of a project. But then you would use the same process to uh, get another uh, the other side of your brake line attached with another one of these. So, and this is, since this is a flare union, this is a, an, a, an, a, a good way or an approved way to make uh, connections in brake lines, whereas you would not want to use compression fittings. Compression fittings are not allowed. I think they're even illegal. But uh, it is okay to do splices as long as they are done properly with the right flare fittings like this. And this is, again, how to make a double flare. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please rate it up. It helps me out. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you'd like. And yeah, hope this helped someone.